Hello YouTube, it is time to go check on my chickens. And oh, there's one, Maya. Hey there, Maya. Here another one, I see Frosty. And I see Winston Mackler. What are you doing? You want some food? Did you eat that entire treat I gave you? Uh, no. Can you finish this? You want to eat this treat? It's yummy. Winston ate an entire one yesterday. She loved it. I would have videotaped it, but it was actually kind of late at night. It was like 9 o'clock-ish when I went back to, to lock them up. Is anyone else back here? Well, I see a few more. Oh, I see the fluff butt back there. Yeah. Hello, Coco. I can't show you the... can't show you license plates. So, here's the broody butt. Standing by the coop because she wants in. I can't let her in. Want some food? Gosh, I got stuck to my foot. Oh, I got food all over my foot. There you go, now you got some food. I can't let you in the coop unless you're like, not hurt. We can't let her in the coop. Big fluff butt. She's broody. Broody is a bad thing. I Means she sits on eggs and she can get ferocious. And she doesn't move. And she could die from not eating or drinking. So that's why we have to shut the coop door every morning and take her out of the coop. Because otherwise she won't get out. We have to physically pick her up and be like, come on. She's got a twin sister who's a little different. And, um, I don't know if you can see, but she had a bald spot on the back of her head. And, uh, she doesn't have a bald spot. She's not as thick, fluffy. Like, she doesn't have as many layers of fluff as she does. And this one's got a brown head. This one's got a head that kind of glows a tealish color in the sun. No, I'm not letting you in. No, <laughs> I'm not gonna let you in. You drink some water? Are you thirsty? No? Okay. Oh. well, be careful. The lid isn't meant for chickens to stand on it. That's Sophia. Sorry. That's Maya. They get along very well because they're twins and they were the only two left, so they've lived with each other their entire lives. And she does that sometimes. Hello, Maya. You're the only one left. That crazy-headed yellow one is snug. You know how they say chicks are born yellow, but they never grow up yellow? Um, she proved that wrong. Snug did, and the light brown one's Coco, the black one's Frost, and that's Winston. We named her Frost because when she was a baby, she had a lot of white on her, and she kind of looked like a penguin, and now she just looks black, pretty and black. I don't know why my uh, parents are always still surprised when you walk in the house and your shoes are covered in bird poop. I mean, they poop wherever they want, so. How am I supposed to know? Anyways. Personality. Sophia's kind of a brat. Kind of a brat. She sits on eggs all day because she really wants to be a mom. But she can't be a mom because we have no rooster, which means all the eggs that she lay are not fertilized. When chickens do that, they are grooming themselves and pulling out feathers from the winter, which in fact, she must still have a lot of winter feathers. In the winter, they grow feathers that are much like their baby feathers, small, soft, and fluffy, to keep them warm. Then in the summer, they have to rip all of them out so they're not too warm. 
See how big Coco's comb is? A comb is meant to keep you cool. Hey, Coco. Her giant comb means she must be like extra cool. She doesn't have very big of a comb. The waddle is supposed to keep them warm. If you can see Coco, who also has a giant waddle too. So she gives warmth through her waddle. I only have three chickens that have giant waddles and combs, which are Coco, Frost, and Winston. Sophia has a tiny waddle and a comb. And same with Maya, who probably has a smaller waddle and comb than her sister. And Snug doesn't have a waddle and a comb, so I don't know how she keeps warm and cool during the summer and winter seasons. If you know anything about um, Polish chickens, then please comment down below, because this is the first year with chickens that they've actually lasted more than a year. They're a year old. Their birthday was a month ago in May, I think. So they're all a year old, and they've all had their casualties and bad things happen to them. Sophia's uh, boyfriend, the rooster, got brutally murdered in front of all f six of these hens by a hawk. He was protecting them from a hawk. I don't know what the hawk was doing when we were gone. Probably just trying to attack one of the smaller hens, like maybe Coco or Frost, one of those few. And then Sugar was like, yeah, no. And he sacrificed himself, so that was really sad when he died. And then Coco also got attacked by a hawk. But the missing feathers from her wings and tail have grown back. And then Maya got attacked by a fox, so bad things, very many bad things. But there hasn't been any more attacks since every time we let them out, we check on them every 10 minutes. And they're not allowed in the backyard. Because the backyard's dangerous even though attacks, two attacks happened in the front yard and only one in the backyard. We don't allow them in the backyard. We only allow them in the front yard. We allow them in the back pool area over there, back near the hot tub back there. I don't know if you heard that, but it kind of sounded like a dog in the distance, maybe. Chingons are a little freaked out about it. <laughs> Well, I gotta go. Gosh, a leaf just fell on my head. <laughs> Bye.